Hey YouTube, if you'd like to see how I added the pink and the red glitter to these two wine bottles that will make perfect gifts for birthdays, just thinking of you or weddings, keep watching this video. So today, this video is going to be about wine bottles. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these wine bottles, I am going to use glitter on them to make them very sparkly, fabulous, cute all of that right and of course they're gonna be gifts for people I just like making stuff for people plus I'm just building up my content so I just be needing to make stuff and I don't drink wine I know people who like wine so hey it works out if you didn't see my Michaels haul video I picked up some very pretty glitter not just any old glitter but this is polyester glitter so I want to know what the difference is between polyester glitter and just regular plastic craft glitter. They're both sparkly and pretty, but I just wanna know how it is when it reacts with the Mod Podge glue. Is one gonna be more sparklier than the other? I'm assuming the coverage is gonna be better with the extra fine because it's so little, like little grains. This is too, but it's just fine. I think it goes like .00, .00 six and one is point zero zero eight something like that I'm not exactly sure but I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison this one was eighteen dollars from Michaels this one was about eight to ten dollars from papermart.com both very pretty both very very sparkly both about a pound both about the same size one cost twice as much one cost half as much but Polyester glitters, there must be different levels to it. Cause I remember looking online a while ago and polyester glitters can get up to about 80 to $100. Unless it was just something else, but I have seen glitters that cost that much for about this same size. So I guess I can do another breakdown about that later. I'm going to use Mod Podge glue. You will also need the wine of your choice. Uh, these are just some grocery store wines. I don't know where else people buy wines from, maybe the liquor store, I don't know, but I just picked these up based on the color of the bottle. I didn't realize this one was so short until I got it home. And I know my aunt drinks Gallo Family. She had some that was grape. I couldn't find that one for some reason. Maybe she ordered it special because she like really loves wine. And then my cousin Danielle, I made her a glass too. This is just a nice little late birthday gift and congratulations on your new house and becoming a nurse type of situation. So anyway, also have some little extra little plastic cups. This comes in handy to pour your glue in so you don't mix all the different glitter colors in your glue. So I'm gonna stop talking at some point and get started. But before I do that, I will go ahead and wipe off my bottles just to wipe off any germs or greases, dirt, whatever, maybe on these. I just like to wipe stuff off before I get, get started with it. Also, another factor that I like to look at when doing a wine bottle or liquor or whatever it is, I like to see how the label is set up. Some have labels that aren't gonna be um, flattering to do the glitter around. And then sometimes I go over the whole label, sometimes I leave the label, just depends. I may leave the labels on these. Some people may want to read whatever information is on the back of these. So let's see, I'm going to start with the red. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the red. So I'll move this one to the side because that one is going to be pink. Red is my aunt's favorite color. I have this cardstock paper underneath just to catch my glitter and pour it back in. Okay, so I like to start at the bottom and it's heavy, but I hold it like this because if I start at the bottom and then I keep going and spinning like this, it messes up what I have going on. So let me just see. I'm gonna just start on this side. And I don't do any masking of anything. I just kind of hold my arm, my hand steady. And you just want to make sure you just have smooth, even coats. 
And I like to go section by section. So I don't put glue on the whole bottom. It'll start to dry out. You don't want that. What you want is to have nice, fresh glue. Smoothed in really good. So just take your time. Cause you don't want to have clumpy looking glue. Cause it'll turn into clumpy looking glitter when you add the glitter on top of it. So you just smooth it, get close. And if you get any glue on the label, just wipe it off and just go for it. A nice hefty amount, go for it, honey. Fill it up because you don't want to have any exposed glitter. Oh, I forgot to get an empty brush with nothing on it just to brush off the excess. for now but I usually have a better little kind of like a makeup old makeup brush and you just brush off any excess you can kind of see see how good that looks it's so pretty it's so sparkly we move this so this one focus good focus there we go very pretty, very sparkly. Okay, so I'm gonna start to hold it like this. Knock off the excess. All right. Work my way around to the back here. Continue to add the glue in sections. I'm almost done, pretty much done with the bottom. My camera, um, my memory card filled up, so I had to go get another one. But you see, this doesn't take long at all. But you don't want to rush it anyway. This is just a cute, fun little thing to do. You can spruce up something for someone's birthday. Or you can make some bottles maybe for the holiday of like Christmas colors, holiday colors, Thanksgiving colors, whatever you like to do. Glitter is fun to work with. It can be messy, but it's always really fun. Remember, don't leave any glue exposed. I let it sit for just a couple seconds and just let it pour off like that. Don't worry about any blotchy areas because you will be doing two coats of glitter. first coat so we're going to let that dry then we're going to do a second coat okay so while I'm waiting for the first coat of the red glitter to dry on the Gallo family wine bottle I decided to go ahead and clean everything up switch over to this pink extra fine polyester glitter by Recollections from Michaels which is called Double Gum I like that name so, same process, I just got a fresh cup of glue so I don't mix my glitters together. And I have another cleaned, um, another clean sponge brush. Same process here, I'm gonna start towards the bottom. I'm really excited about this pink. Start towards the bottom, I already wiped it off as you already saw earlier in the video. 
brush your glue onto the, the bottle. So it's nice and smooth. This is so pretty. Ooh, wee. This is pretty. I know it may look weird now that I think about it. With the pink, <laughs> the coral on pink, but hey, I don't care. It still looks really, really pretty to me. But I didn't even think about that before. I just knew those were the colors that I wanted to use. But wow. Very pretty. I think the coverage is great. I should have had an extra brush to knock off a gentle brush. I don't want to put dents in what I'm doing with this one, but I'll just still use it. sticking and what's not what needs to be shook off so it's still pretty transparent because it's the color of it but it's so holographic I love it so I'm just going to continue on still a little wet I'm noticing that once it dries it starts to look more clear transparent so I almost finished just continue to add your glue I'm pretty much at the top I don't want to do anything with this area because the way this bottle is made all of this is a, a seal that needs to be broken in order to open the wine so I do want to make sure that you can get that open. And so this is the first coat. It's looking weird in these spots. I stepped away to do something and came back and added glitter. And I think because this part pretty much dried when I stepped away to do something, this is still wet, that's why it looks darker. But it'll all blend. And so this is how it looks dry. It's a little blotchy. It is. But I'm going to go over it with a second coat. And I want it to look more like these darker areas. The transparent look is cool too. But And I don't know. I just want to compare these before I even do a second coat. As you can see, this red glitter looks a lot more fuller and thicker. But I think it's because this one is thinner and more grainier, but it's also because it's such a light color. So I think a better comparison 
would have been to do a red polyester glitter and a red um, plastic glitter, craft plastic glitter. glitter. But they're both really pretty. It reminds me of like a Valentine's Day thing. That would be a nice gift to give somebody. So I don't wanna switch everything back over. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my second coat on this. Then come back and do a second coat here. This actually looks like one coat is enough, but because I always do two coats, I'm gonna stick with that and do two coats on that as well. I really like the way this looks with this second coat on. This first coat was pretty sheer and thin, but it still looked good. It has this like weird effect. It's like super soft, like nothing in your hands. It feels like grain of soft sand, I guess. Yes, really soft sand. And I'm hoping it stays this nice, pretty thick. It's like, well, at least with this color, it's like sheer nail polish. You know how you just have to have two or three coats for it to really look really, really good and show the color that it is. I really hope that it stays this thickness. Like you can see it sets up like powder. It's like a weird effect, I can't explain it. So I'm just dusting off any extras. So when I put it in front of the air blower to dry, So it's like, if you don't make sure your glue is thin, it's like it's starting to get like a little ripple going on here. And I'll just take my finger and press in where I need to as needed. Hopefully that helps. Cause I'm having like a little effect here. If you get that effect, just go ahead and take a, your finger or something and just press it and add more glitter. But it's so soft and just fine, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's a preference thing or, I think certain people use polyester too because it works better with epoxy resin. I haven't used this glitter yet with any resin. So I'm excited to see how that goes as well. Okay, so this is the, this is only the first coat of the glitter. And I feel like it's a lot more heavier and a thicker coat. Maybe because the pink one is more transparent and it's very, very fine. But if I wanted to, I could just go with this one coat and it'd be fine. But like I said, I always do two coats, so I'm gonna stick to what I always do. Okay, so this is the Gallo Family and the Oak Leaf wine bottles unsealed. The glitter is not sealed yet. And it looks very full on the Gallo Family and very full on the Oak Leaf. But on the Oak Leaf with the pink, I had to use three layers of glitter to look like this. Like, I can see some, some slight lumpiness, just a little bit. I can see the imperfections. And it's like, I tried so hard. But this one, I guess because it's heavier and thicker, it, the coverage is just amazing. So I don't have to spend double <laughs> on glitter to get, for what I use it for, it's perfectly fine for me. But I do like this. It's so smooth and just fine and I don't know, I just like gotta, keep working with it or maybe use it with a different glue maybe polyester glitter doesn't like my podge maybe that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and seal these and then let them dry and then I'll come back I'm gonna add some glue into your little cup
That's my cup. You're gonna pour some glitter in there. A hefty amount of glitter. Stir that up. And a pinch of water. Oh, that was a lot. I felt that. More glitter if you have to. That's what it looks like. So we'll see how it is on here with the consistency. You can always thicken it up if you have to. I pretty much just eyeball it. I spilled some glitter here, so I'm just gonna pour that back into my cup. You definitely want to seal the glitter because if you don't seal it, it'll just flake off and come off everywhere. And we don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom. Don't worry, this does dry clear. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and steal the glitter, the regular craft glitter, which for me is winning. They're both nice. I think they both have pros and cons. To them just like anything else says and I have the glue I'm gonna put too much in here so I have glue in my little cup here just like we did for the other cup I'm gonna add glitter a hefty amount of glitter I'm gonna stir that up and add a pinch of water. A pinch of water. You can eyeball it, there's no specific measurement. Give More it a glitter. stir. More glitter the better. Less chances of it being clouded. Now that's what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start towards the bottom. Okay, and here is the finished result after the glitter has been fully sealed and fully dried. So the Gallo family wine bottle has the craft plastic glitter. I think it still looks nice and sparkly. Of course it's not as sparkly as it would be if it wasn't sealed. Once you seal it, it does take away a little bit of the shininess, but you just don't want this to, to have glitter everywhere pouring, falling off all over the place. You just don't want that. So this is nice and fully sealed, it's very solid still sparkly and it's still very pretty. Now the oak leaf, white Ziffindale, is also sealed. It has a very, very pretty finish and a nice sparkle as well. But, like I told you, I did use three coats of this. It was extremely fine and there are just a few areas that I feel like could have been a little bit flatter and I did the same exact thing with both bottles, but for some reason, this didn't have as flat of a finish. Maybe the Mod Podge is too thick for the polyester glitter, I'm not sure. Maybe it works better with epoxy, like I said. I'm still pleased with them both. I really like the pink better because pink is my favorite color, but I just wish this had a, a better seamless finish.
but it's still very pretty. And I like both of them. You guys can let me know in the comments which one you like the best. What type of glue are you guys using with your polyester glitter? Then I have another video for this, but this is something that I made to go along with this wine bottle for my cousin Danielle. I'll have the link available for this video. I did use pink jelly AB four millimeter rhinestones. And this pink is not the exact same pink as the glitter, but I feel like it's close enough and it's very, very pretty. So this will be a nice gift for her. Hopefully she does enjoy it. But this is my video just doing my little comparison of polyester glitter versus plastic craft glitters. Hope this video does give you some type of inspiration to make something like this or similar. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.